So you're just getting ready to make dinner and this happens. So if you've got one burner out of the blue that just won't ignite, let me show you how to quickly fix that and usually it won't take more than 60 seconds. So in a nutshell, here's how it works. Each of the burners has this cap on top. The igniter on each burner is right here and this is what it looks like when it's working properly. So the first and easiest thing to check is the top cap on the burner. It may have become misaligned if you were in there cleaning under the grill. The next thing you want to check is to see if there's any food stuck around the igniter. You may find a piece of macaroni, or a piece of spaghetti, broccoli, or maybe a small piece of mushroom. And the odd time you'll find a spider that was trying to build a home in there. And if you find some batter or sauce on it, or soup that has boiled over, just get a toothbrush or an old one that you've got kicking around. Just use some hot water and give it a scrub down. So first you've made sure that the cap is on straight, then you check for food and debris around the igniter. And the third thing you want to do is make sure that this little notch here is clear. This little slot allows the gas to get to the igniter. In some gas stoves they'll have a hole drilled down below here. In both cases you want to make sure that the slot and the hole are clear. If yours has a slot you can use a toothbrush to clean it. If yours has a hole you can use a paper clip to clean it out. A toothpick, a bristle from your broom, or from your snow brush. Or you can snip one off of a wire brush. Or just use a plain old pen. And the last thing you want to check is this little orifice in the bottom of this tube here to make sure there's no debris over top of it. If you check all of those four things, it's almost always one of those things that causes it not to start. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications. And we'll see you next time.